Hello, it's Christopher Morlock. I'm the Bachelor Chef, among other things. And today we're going to make something special, a beef stew that is suitable for those on dialysis. People with kidney problems need to increase the amount of protein while decreasing the amount of salt, potassium, and phosphorus in their diets. Unlike traditional beef stews that rely on spuds, the root vegetables in ours will be more palatable for a renal diet. So you need one to two pounds of turnips, one pound of baby carrot, some parsley, some thyme. I got plenty of time for you, baby. One shallot. That's a fancy pants onion. You need one quart of unsalted, unsalted beef broth. And finally, about a pound and a half of beef cubes. As the bachelor chef, I spare no expense and purchase Kobe beef straight from Japan. You wrote that. What? And you spelled it wrong too. K-O-B-E. K-O-B-E. That's the basketball player. Diane, the provider of this recipe, suggests that you cube the turnips, put them in water, and leave them in the fridge overnight so they're nice and tender. Not me. I'm the bachelor. I don't think that far ahead, and I like them crunchy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my God. We're going to line the bottom of the slow cooker with our turnips. I prefer to make these kind of recipes in a crock pot, or as we like to say, a Dutch oven. Don't do a Dutch oven with your girlfriend in bed. She won't like you. Next up is the carrots. Now you could get some organic ones and pull them out of the ground like Bugs Bunny and peel them. But you just buy these some bitches and chuck them in there, no one know. I mean, they have the distinct round shape and perfect tampon length. Mmm, delicious tampon. Next, we need one tablespoon of parsley. What am I gonna do with the rest of this parsley? That's all right. <laughs> Need one tablespoon of garlic. Dime recommends using garlic powder, but I can't get enough of this mint shit. We need one tablespoon of thyme. I got three ounces of this thyme. What am I gonna do with it? Who's mine you ride? Ugh, <laughs> it's so soupy. Next up is the beef broth. Next, we're gonna add the beef cube. This is actually cab chuck. Pour the rest of the shit over top. What am I gonna do with this leftover beef? Hmm. Ah, hmm. Put the cover on this son bitch. We're gonna kick it up the high. About two hours in, we're gonna give it a nice stir. It's been going about four hours now. Let's have a look. You know, this could use one little thing that's not in the recipe. Time for stew. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that people with kidney disease are still people. So they like the same stuff you do. This soup is perfectly fine for normal people whose kidneys function, especially on a day like today. Nice hot stew on a cold day. Mm. Nah, <laughs> you don't think I'm really gonna do that, do you? I should have moved the crock pot over under the light so you can see it instead of over in the corner where it's gonna be plugged in because it doesn't need to be plugged in until I actually start cooking because I'm not a professional video maker. Mm. I'm a bachelor chef, not a professional chef. I write novels, but I'm not a chef novelist. Please note that alcohol is not suitable for renal failure diet, nor is it high in potassium. I'm a professional poker player, but I'm not a bachelor poker player.